From 5 News, I'm meteorologist Stephen Elmore. This is your 5 Plus extended forecast. Today was absolutely gorgeous outside. Plenty of sunshine all day long and temperatures not too bad. It was upper 60s, low 70s. That's all about to change as you go on throughout the rest of the work week, though. Secondary cold front after that first one we had yesterday that brought all that rain. Another one's coming in behind it. Now it's going to bring in the cold air. It's going to stay dry but much cooler, especially in the morning hours. Temperatures starting off below freezing for some over the next few mornings. I think we'll be hovering right around that freezing point throughout the rest of the work week before we warm up going into the weekend. Daytime highs back up into the upper 60s uh, by the time we get to the end of the weekend. Still looking at plenty of sunshine. And then we'll take a look at what the Thanksgiving week forecast looks right now. I'll tell you. Right now, it looks like we're going to see at least some extra cloud coverage, maybe a spotty shower or two. As we get closer to actual Thanksgiving on that Thursday, it looks like we could see some rain chances increasing. Still far out from that, though, so we'll be working on that forecast as we get a little bit closer. Again, that cold front uh, coming overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. It's going to get windy overnight tonight, Tuesday going into Wednesday. Wind gets right around 25 to 30 miles per hour across northwest Arkansas on the River Valley. This time, those winds coming from the northwest, that's going to filter in all that cooler air. So it's already going to be a chilly start by the time we get to tomorrow morning. I think our coldest mornings are going to be Thursday and Friday before we start to warm up going into this upcoming weekend. Wednesday morning still looks like it could be windy outside. Wind gusts right around 20 miles per hour as we head outside. That cooler air is going to already be here. So it might feel a little bit cooler outside as we get into our Wednesday morning. The rest of the week is uh, much cooler, especially in the morning hours. Thursday and Friday morning, again, it's supposed to be our coolest morning as that cooler air continues to sink down to the surface. So morning temperatures look like this for our Wednesday. Right around those mid to upper 30s across northwest Arkansas, across the River Valley, into those low 40s. But I tell you, when you factor in what it's actually going to feel like outside with those winds, a few of us, especially across northwest Arkansas, have a good chance of feeling like we're at the freezing point tomorrow morning across the River Valley. A few degrees cooler right around those mid to upper 30s. 30s as you head out the door. Now I think we could see some patchy frost over the next several days. It's hard to tell right now, but maybe Friday will be our best day that we have, uh, best chance that we have for a freeze. Patchy frost though should be expected for Wednesday and Thursday morning with Friday being our coldest outside. Daytime highs are going to dramatically change as well. Today we had those upper 60s, low 70s. I think for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we only have those highs into the mid to upper 50s. Here's what Wednesday looks like. Mid 50s across the northwest Arkansas across the River Valley, pretty similar mid to upper 50s. Maybe we see somewhere across eastern Oklahoma reach into the 60 degree mark. Here's those morning temperatures throughout the rest of the work week. I want you to take a look from Wednesday through Saturday. That's where we're going to have this cold snap in again. Not expecting much in the way of any precipitation, actually expecting lots of sunshine for the afternoon. We start to warm back up, though. Good news is by the time we get to the end of the weekend into early next week, before that next system arrives as we get closer towards Thanksgiving. Day across the River Valley. Look between Wednesday and Saturday as those temperatures being on the colder side again. I think we avoid a freeze, but we'll get pretty close, especially Friday and Saturday morning as that cooler air starts to sink down. Wind chill values right around the freezing point later on this week for a very chilly start to the morning. Let's look at those wind chills. This is going out throughout the rest of this week. Here's what Wednesday morning looks like. Again, tomorrow morning temperatures starting off close to the freezing point in northwest Arkansas, upper 30s across the River Valley, and we continue to get cooler over the next several mornings. Thursday morning, I think in northwest Arkansas, everybody is feeling like we're below freezing. Across the River Valley, we'll be very close. And Friday, that's what I'm expecting to see. Some of our coolest wind chill values, definitely the coolest that we've seen so far this season. I think across northwest Arkansas, waking up to end the work week right around those mid to upper 20s across the the River Valley more than likely a lot of us will be starting off feeling below the freezing point. So prepare for Friday. By the time we get to Saturday, it's going to start to be a little bit warmer, but still a definitely chilly start to the morning, similar to what we're going to have on Wednesday. That repeats itself on Saturday before we really start to warm up going into the end of the weekend. So just a cold snap that's going to last three or four days. Unfortunately, it does go into the weekend for your Saturday morning. Weekend forecast, though, still doesn't look too bad. We're going to see more cloud coverage by the time 
time we get to Sunday. But look at these daytime highs still into the mid to upper 60s. It's just the morning hours. So if anything, sleep in on Saturday morning because by the time we get to the afternoon, sunshine breaks out. Hopefully temperatures are going to be warmer as well. I think Sunday will be another comfortable day for us with morning temperatures. Not too bad across the river valley. We'll be back up into the low 70s by the time we reach to the end of the weekend. Uh, that Saturday, though, we're going to be seeing a cold start to the morning. Temperatures eventually warm back up into those low 60s. Now, what everybody wants to know is what's going to be coming for Thanksgiving week. Well, we have some long range data that we're starting to play with now and starting to see well, well, what can we see? I'll tell you what, going into Thanksgiving Day on Thursday, it looks like rain chances are increasing just a bit. It also looks like that some colder air is going to be filtering in as well. It's too early to say what exactly we can see. I think you should expect maybe some scattered showers either the Wednesday before Thanksgiving or even on Thursday for Thanksgiving Day. At least that's what the long range data is telling us. And we could see that change over the next several days. More than likely we will. These long range data models tend to change several times dramatically uh, as we get closer and closer as it's narrowing down exactly what's going to happen. But right now it's a good estimate that sometime during Thanksgiving week, uh, especially as we get closer to Thanksgiving Day, more cloud coverage, some rain chances should increase as well. What's also going to be coming is some cooler air with that. This is looking between November 27th and December 3rd, so right around that Thanksgiving time. Some cooler air is expected to filter in uh, across portions of uh, the central United States. I think this could be coming with a cold front that will bring us that precipitation, whatever it may be, uh, by the time we get closer towards Thanksgiving Day on Thursday. That also shown on the precipitation outlook with some above average rain chances for us by the time we get between November 27th and December 3rd. So all that to say, still a long ways away before we get there. Here's a look at the next couple of days. The 10 day forecast for you focus on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday in the morning hours across Northwest Arkansas. More than likely every morning starting off very close to the freezing point. Wind chill values will be much lower than that Thursday, Friday, Saturday morning. I definitely think we could see some 20s out there when it comes to what it feels like outside. We warm up by the time we get to the weekend. Sunday, Monday looks really nice outside back up into those mid to upper 60s. Some cloud coverage starts to build in though and look at that Thanksgiving week forecast. Nothing too shocking right there. Uh, nothing to to be concerned about right now when it comes to travel plans or anything like that. Models are just suggesting that at least uh, the day before Thanksgiving or on Thanksgiving Day, some extra precipitation looks to be coming in and temperatures are trending cooler. I think we see some temperatures below freezing sometime by the time we get past Thanksgiving or on Thanksgiving morning could be a chilly start to the morning. Again, this is a early, early outlook. These models are only really start to become uh, something that we can be confident in and tell you exactly what's going to happen when we get very, very close to it. This is the extended outlook of what may happen by the time we get too late next week. Prepare for some cooler air and maybe some rain chances as well. Across the River Valley, the next several mornings going to be a bit brisk outside. I think we avoid a freeze across the River Valley, but definitely cannot rule out some patchy frost. Look between Wednesday and Saturday as those coldest mornings for us. By the time we get to the weekend, though, especially Saturday afternoon and all day on Sunday, warmer air starts to come back in and we're back up into those low 70s by the time we get to Sunday afternoon. And then once we get into the week of Thanksgiving, Monday, Day looks great. If you're traveling earlier than sooner to Thanksgiving, I think you have a really good chance of seeing some nice weather. Monday, Tuesday travel doesn't look too bad at all. If you plan on leaving for that family trip by the time you get to Wednesday, right now it's suggesting that we're seeing the best chance for some rain just the day before. And by the time we get to Thursday, definitely feeling some cooler air for Thanksgiving. Tis the season for some cooler air, especially once we get into these holiday seasons. Again, by the time we get to the next couple of days, this is that cold snap that we have. Really nice for the weekend. And then once we get to Thanksgiving week, a few things that we'll have to keep an eye on. Main headline will be definitely look out for some precipitation chances and definitely look out for some cooler air. From 5 News, I'm meteorologist Stephen Elmore. That's your 5 Plus extended forecast.